Hello, hello, class. Good morning. I'm glad you guys choose to join me today. Um, <clears throat> so I've decided to stay home, stay put. Uh, even though I don't, I feel I feel okay now, but I'm still sneezing and um, once a while coughing. So I don't want people to get nervous when I cough or sneeze. So I thought maybe I should just stay home. Um, so at least this week, we are going to still do um, virtual. And I think there are some confusion from last time. Um, <clears throat> people were asking if they choose to do online, what do they need to do? So basically, if you choose to do online, I prefer you will register for the Friday class, but it's this is today is the last day to add. So I don't want to add more confusion. So if you choose to do online and if you don't want to switch to Friday, all you need to do is to email me that you are going to do online. So when I um, take attendance in the future, I will skip you, okay? And the difference is, I think, um, if you choose to do face-to-face, -face, um, unfortunately this week will be virtual, but if you choose to do face-to-face, -face, you get to see a lot of stuff I'm going to bring to class and most of them are food. So <laughs> you're going to taste some exotic food. Some might taste good. I, I will of course choose something that had better review from previous semester. And, um, and of course some scary stuff. So like today, um, actually I ordered some um, pig intestine yesterday. <laughs> So if, if we choose to do face-to-face, -face, I can bring it to school and then you guys can try it, you know? So, um, so that's pretty much, I think that's the, the main difference. I want to make the face-to-face -face class fun, but um, we are going to record our class and you can choose, you don't have to watch the video. I don't think you need to watch the video in order to do well in this class, but um, it will be, you know, it will be strictly for um, your knowledge, you know, to have fun, you know, because uh, in our class, we would, you know, probably we would include more information, more experience that we can share, okay, either from me or from you guys. So it's your option, okay? And for this class, the intent, the attendance is not graded. It's just for me to get to know people. So today we are going to kind of talk about introduction. Um, what exactly is globalization? You know, why do we need to study global management, okay? So um, basically, we, we are going to kind of talk about the globalization, what are the main drivers for globalization and um, what's been changing um, in global economy. And um, there are some arguments about, you know, globalization, whether or not we should we should encourage it or we should discourage it, okay? So we're going to kind of talk about it today. So, um, so the, the um, in the very beginning, I, I think, let me see. Um, so the beginning um, opening case is an example of a global, food crisis, and believe it or not, um, there are 51 countries that actually have food crisis, okay? Uh, um, 124 million people are starving. So um, 
<clears throat> it's difficult for us to imagine. Actually, I was just talking with my friends that, you know, in Taiwan, they, I, I, I forgot, I think I forgot to introduce myself. I'm originally from Taiwan. Um, we're not part of China. You know, don't say, oh, are you from China? No, I will be so offended if you say, oh, you, your country, China, we're different. So, um, but um, our policy, our COVID, the Taiwan COVID policies, zero case policy. They don't allow any case. Actually, last year, um, Taiwan was able to, I think, have zero case for like 300 some days. And then suddenly in June, like a few days before I, I booked the fly to go back, they have cases and then people freak out. So, so like uh, recently they started to have a lot of cases. When I say a lot of cases, it's like 50 every day. So people freak out. And, and out of the 50, like 30 to 40 are from US. So, so, um, <clears throat> so my friend and I, we were, we were talking like, gee, people like, people don't like people like us going back to Taiwan from US because obviously we have a lot of virus on us. And even me, I got, I got COVID, you know, I, I for, I didn't really go anywhere. I'm just basically home. And I think my daughter got it from school, but she only went to school for like two days and then she was sick. So, so, um, so I'm guessing, you know, it's, it's, so anyway, so we were talking about um, why people in Taiwan freak out so easily because they don't have enough hospital bed. So the whole island only have like 2000 bed with the, how do you call that? The high pressure oxygen. But in US, even like I'm in the middle of nowhere near Quaker town, but not in Quaker town. Even like we like, you know, here in the middle of nowhere, um, we still have several hospitals that, you know, feel comfortable that if we are sick, we'll be taken care, good care of. Okay, so it's not the case in a lot of country, not just Taiwan. Actually, if you saw our news last year, Italy, UK, you know, even the developed country are not as well equipped as in US. And of course, everything comes with a price. You know, our medical bill is, you know, notoriously high much higher than anywhere in the world. So, um, <clears throat> so, so for this, we, and when we, when it comes to the food, it will be difficult for us to also imagine how can a place that, you know, don't have enough food. We always have too much food here, right? So even during pandemic, sometimes we, some stuff will out, be out of stock you know, but still we were never really starved, right? So, so this is, um, some of these are like global um, example, okay? <coughs> and let me see if I can play the video. So I just want to share some of the stuff with you guys. Can you guys see this? Probably not. Okay, can you guys see this screen? I can see it, Professor. You can see it? The saving lives, changing lives? Oh, no, it's uh, just that I don't see, it's just the PowerPoint. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to share the screen and then yeah. bring it. Can you see it now? So. Yes. So there are like a lot of um, starving people in the world. And um, it's really hard for us to imagine, okay? Um, <coughs> I'm just sharing this and, and during pandemic, it's even worse. A lot of places, you know, they, um, because of the, um, you know, the shipping, shipping traffic, 
you know, like we can't get a lot of stuff. And then same as those countries, they don't have enough food, okay? So, oops. <clears throat> so that's, you know, one of the things that, you know, which I try to um, introduce you guys to. And um, today it's very rare to see a self-contained economy for a country. Okay, so we are affected no matter what, no matter if we like it or if we want it. Okay, so even though you don't buy anything from other countries, you let's say if you just buy stuff on Amazon, how many of you notice a lot of stuff you bought from Amazon actually from other countries, right? So, so that's the that's the thing. And um, and for the globalization um, means that um, we just need to you know kind of deal with it. And but on the other hand, it does means it will actually bring us more opportunities. 